Alright, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this game. This is episode 17 of the next come up. It was in Virginia. Georgia Tech is number 12 in the state, having a really successful season with their star at, at wide receiver Dylan McFleek. Georgia Tech is coming out of the huddle, so what do you think that this team should be looking for in this game? Well, I think that they have a very wide selection at plays they can. They have a star wide receiver, and the other ones are highly experienced being juniors and seniors. <clears throat> now, the QB is also a very young man. He is, uh, I think, a junior. And right there again, a short catch. Did get the first. Freshman year, he had a nickname called Mr. First Down. He's actually hoping for a block on that side, but okay. So where the QB is four for four throwing. He has a very excellent QB rating. Right there again, stopped. Young QB when he first came to the school was not the excellent passing QB. And he almost got a touchdown there. But he got up oh, and looks like a head injury. That could be a serious one. He could be out for the rest of this game. And not even able to get a touchdown. That would be a very sad day for him. Oh, let's get on to this field. Head coach is on with the training staff. He's back on the field in the second quarter. He was wide open down the field. That was a very nice play by this wide receiver. He just knows how to read the defense. Getting into the end of his first touchdown. QB is 15 for 17. Alright, Georgia Tech's coming out of the huddle. Dan McFleek averages 15.9 yards every catch. So that guarantees a first down and a little bit more. Teams coming out of the huddle. For some reason coach looks like he wants to do the exact same play. And it works. Georgia Tech is just blowing Virginia out of the water. Virginia, Te Virginia went for two points and got it. He got sacked for a loss of four yards. And he breaks away. But the QB wanted to rush it but got sacked. They're looking for a first down. And he catches it, jumping high up in the air, risking his body, and he did end up getting injured on the play. But he does just seem to be okay coming in in, 30, in the last 30 seconds of the game. It's fourth and goal, and they seem to be going for it.
And it's turned over right there. In Virginia, just, just having the comeback of the game. 22 to 31. And it's offsides on the offense. All right, number 21 going up against number 22. And he jumps up trying to intercept it. Nobody slap it out of his hands. Playing that fourth and one. And then the hurry up because they know they can get the first. And he had to lean his body all the way back to catch that one. And it's picked off. And it was incomplete. All right, Georgia Tech's coming out in this one. Holding the lead. And oh, we thought he had it, but that's on count as a dropped catch. Offense is coming out with the 60 goal play. No, well, six. The 60 goal play. Right next to number 21 is James Bailey getting that catch. Second and five after, after Georgia Tech did a rushing play. Thrown a little short. And he almost gets in the end zone. Williams had a chance to score but couldn't quite get in there. Just drags his tippy toes across the line. And we broke it by a wide receiver. I thought that said Ray Rice. I was like, oh my god, they put in their names. But of course they went. And we're going for two here. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Caught it, but couldn't go anywhere. Oh no! Alright, I know I'm gonna get the first down here. Oh, if he fucking threw it sooner! But now, thanks to my QB's arrogance of delaying that. Oh my goodness, he's been making me do that a lot, um, a lot lately. Alright, look at this same good old play. Throwing it off over there and it's out of bounds. Now this play is called Corners. You know.
QB got sacked, losing one yard. Curls, flats. It usually means when you have um, a few curl routes and um and oh, we're only inches short. So we're gonna punch it through. Yeah, we did. For some reason, I thought I was in that play, but apparently, it took me out. Going off for one defender. Can we punch it in? Ooh. Number 21 looks tired. And he does know this is gonna go to him. Oh, he couldn't quite grab it. You know what happens when you tired? You usually can't catch. But you used to be able to catch. And he just runs it in. Throwing off number 22, but it still falls to play in. And that pads this lead, making it a 10 point lead after the extra point. Virginia does get a touchdown at the end, making it 43 to 46. And that was the play of the game that padded the lead for making sure that they won it. Having two to three fourth down turn um, conversions just to make sure that his team would win and he just had an excellent game having four touchdowns receiving and here's the highlight reel and we'll see you all next time